Hey what's up guys, it's Johnny here from Seraphim's Nerdport and today we're going to be talking about the Sideshow Collectibles Premium Format Chewbacca figure that has just been announced and gone up for pre-order sort of last week. Also make sure you stick towards the end of the episode and we're going to be talking about some of the reveals that was created by Sideshow for the Star Wars celebration that happened just a couple of days ago. There are a couple of new things I hope you guys might enjoy. <music> So first things first, let's get into Chewbacca. Now, if you actually take a look at this Chewbacca, he's a very nice looking Chewy figure. He's got a pretty good sculpt for that hairline, and yeah, he's holding that bow caster, and he's pretty well rounded sculpt, and the the satchel, the the like the belt that goes across him, it's all been done really, really well. But my biggest, biggest concern with this is that pose is exactly the same as one that got released a few years back now literally i found a couple of pictures online i'll post them up so you can see on this video you'll see it is exactly the same now i think that's gonna upset a few collectors out there because a lot of people out there they want to be able to resell these figures later on down the line and still be able to get top money for them, or at least close to retail. You may not necessarily make money on these guys, but most people see their statues as an investment. And the fact that this guy is exactly the same piece, just with a slightly different base, I think it's going to upset a few people, because I think it kind of floods the market with the same statue. I mean, Chewbacca's a relatively popular character. I could imagine Sideshow will probably have a, an edition size of anywhere from like 2,000 pieces on this guy. There's no exclusive either, so there's there's nothing really that makes this guy stand apart from the previous one. Um, even like some of the pictures I found, like the the fur seems a bit lighter on the older one compared to the newer one. The newer one does look a little bit darker, but I think that might just be down to the lighting of whoever's taking the photo. I definitely feel like it's exactly the same piece. They've, they've not even tried to make it any better or any more accurate. It's definitely a good piece. It, I still think if you're in the market for a Chewbacca figure, he's one of the best ones out there that you're going to be able to get. And he's especially for the price, he's about $500, which is about right for a premium format figure from Sideshow. It's, it's no more or more, more or less than I would have expected him to be. I mean, he is actually quite detailed. There is a lot of effort that has to go into recreating that fur. And he does have a little bit of mixed media with that little leather satchel, the, the bag that he has attached to him. But that's like the only thing. Uh, unless potentially the like the strap that's hanging down from the bowcaster, that might be mixed media as well. That might be fabric, I don't know. But those of you who own the originals Chewbacca piece, you might be able to tell me otherwise. I don't know. But I, I definitely feel like for them to have released this piece, they should have changed some aspects of it. Maybe given him, you know, maybe a different facial expression, make him look a bit angrier, change his pose. I mean, they, they didn't even try. It is exactly the same piece. It's just a different base. And this base is no more or less impactful than the original base. The original base, uh, if you can see on the pictures, he's got a grate. He stood on like a grate with like the red light coming through it, which is from, I believe, which one's the second one? Is it Empire Strikes Back? Yeah, Empire Strikes Back, where he gets frozen in carbonite. He gets frozen in carbonite. Where, oh, no, Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite, not Chewbacca. Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite, and he stood on the grate that where that light is shining up through him. It's a pretty good base. Most people that are Star Wars fans are going to know what that is anyways. And this base just looks like it's a piece of the Millennium Falcon. Like Chewbacca stood inside the Millennium Falcon. Now, if Chewie stood inside the Millennium Falcon, why is he holding his bowcaster ready to attack somebody in the first place? So there you have it, guys. That's my thoughts on the Chewbacca Premium Format figure that's just been released from Sideshow. Now, Star Wars Celebration was this weekend. If you're watching this on, on the day or the week that I've actually posted this video, Star Wars Celebration has literally just happened. Sideshow teased at their event at Star Wars Celebration some upcoming work in progress premium formats that they've got coming out. They have a Han Solo, 
which actually looks pretty good. You, know, you don't really get a great detail. It looks like it's mixed media. The jacket he's wearing makes it look very mixed media. Whether or not they keep it that way or whether they sculpt that jacket, I don't know. Uh, I would like to think that what they're going to do is they're going to make an older Han Solo. So a Han Solo from The Force Awakens. I think an older version to go with this new Chewbacca would actually make quite a good pair. If they have like a similar Millennium Falcon style base, they kind of connect together and make a good little story of the, the later generation of Han Solo and Chewie. I think that'd be good. And their face sculpts are normally pretty good. I, don't, I think they'll get the likeness of Han Solo fairly close. Uh, Harrison Ford is a fairly iconic character, so I, people are going to know if it's not right anyways. Uh, and the second piece that we had teased was a Luke Skywalker full-blown Jedi, guys. He, this guy looks like he's fully sculpted. Like the jacket he was wearing looked like it was definitely sculpted in this picture. And I think this one will, will get a lot of attention. And I think this one should, in all fairness, be deserved of a lot of praise when this comes out. Because I think this one will be quite good. Uh... Again, they don't really let much on, but this is all speculation of what how I think it will turn out. I do think it's going to be quite good. I hope he has the green lightsaber. It might be green. I can't remember now. I, it's been a long time since I watched these films. I think it's green that, that, by that point in the, in those films. And I definitely think it's going to be worthwhile having it. I, I think it would look great alongside Han Solo and Chewie. And they have a Boba Fett. In a more museum type pose as opposed to the action pose that they released a couple years ago. That also went up for pre-order recently. I just think there's a lot coming out from Star Wars. Sideshow focusing quite heavily on their Star Wars stuff at the moment as well. And I think we're going to get some great pieces coming out. I just felt a little bit disappointed with this Chewbacca one. I could wish they could have done a bit more with it. So there you have it guys. That's my thoughts on what's been coming out from Sideshow to do with Star Wars. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment. If you have any different opinions, particularly on this Chewbacca one, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll get back to you. I'm pretty good at getting back, to, getting back in touch with people who comment on my videos. Make sure you like it, and we'll see you again next time.